Hello, my name is Alicia Ferguson and I'm Paris Alexandra. And today we are with Well and Good's Good Moves and we've prepared a amazing and challenging core imbalance flow for you today. So let's hop right into this. We're all gonna come to child's pose, meeting with our toes coming to touch, spread those knees as wide as the mat and let's take it all the way down. All right, you're gonna begin to walk out your fingertips, walk out your arms, really nice and long, extended in front of you. Bring your forehead to the earth if that's available to you and just take a moment to become present here. I'm just coming into the body. So let's take a deep breath together, inhaling through the nose. And then gently exhaling out the mouth, releasing any stale air, stale energy that may be holding up in us. One more breath here, inhale. And exhale everything out. Beautiful. I want you to walk your fingers, walk your fingers, walk your arms over to the right side of the mat and press your left hand on top of the right. And so we're just taking a nice, deep, juicy stretch in that whole left side of the body. Take a big inhale here. And then as you exhale, see if you can walk the fingers out towards the right side, just a few more inches if you got it in you. Exhale as we release. And then walk the hands through center all the way over to the left side this time. And if you want the deeper stretch again, take that right hand, place it on top of the left, inhaling here, stretching through the whole side rib cage, and then that exhale, walk the fingers over to the left, even a few more centimeters if you got it, really finding that stretch all the way from the pinky all the way down through your side waist. Beautiful. And then bring the hands all the way back through center. Spread through all 10 fingers and begin to push up into a nice neutral back position. So you want to stack your shoulders over the wrists, knees are under your hips, coming to this flat back position. And we're going to drop into our cat cow. So drop the belly, open up the heart, spread through the collarbone, maybe take your gaze up a little bit to the sky. And as you exhale, round it out, stretching to that whole back body this time. One more time, inhale, rolling all the way forward, nice and easy, squeezing the shoulder blades just a little. And then as you exhale, draw that navel all the way into the spine, release the head, beautiful. And then coming back into our neutral back position, keep the toes pressed into the earth, and we're gonna fire up the core just a little bit. So draw that navel into the spine, coming into a floating table. So knees hover off the earth about two inches here. Really draw that navel all the way into the spine. Energy through the fingertips, we got this. Four, three, four, two. You can twist the hips if you want. <laughs> four and one, beautiful. Release the knees to the earth. Uh, did, you, did you drop them a little sooner? Nope. We're gonna do it again because Paris needs a little core activation. Let's get it. Lifting the knees up off the earth. Hold it for one, hold it for two, hold it for three. We look amazing. Lower the knees here, beautiful. Uncurl the toes, roll the wrists out again if you need to. So we're gonna be on our wrists a little longer and you don't wanna have too much pressure. You wanna be able to relieve that. So curl the toes under here and then I want you to extend that Right leg, nice and long. Left arm reaches nice and long in front of you. Beautiful, and so we're curling through the left toes here. Left toes are curled. So we're just working a little bit more in our balance. So when the tops of the toes are pressed into the earth, it makes it, uh, that adds for a little more stability, but just kick it up a notch here. Navel into the spine, really sending energy through the heel, energy through the fingertips. Awesome work here. And then I want you to roll that left hand towards the back of the room, reaching for your right foot. So if you can't make that connection to the foot, Again, roll that left arm back, create that action, that energy, and then just begin to pulse here with your right foot to the earth. Now, if you can make this connection, we're gonna take this gentle back bend. So Paris is gonna pulse here. I'm gonna press my right foot into the back of my left hand and just gently creating a little bit of tension here. Beautiful, finding a nice deep back bend. Inhale and exhale. Ooh. <laughs> and then release that connection, come right back to your firebird, legs extended, arms extended, and then bring everything back to center. All right, let's try that on the opposite side here. So really press down, firming up through the earth. We're gonna engage our core here, so navel draws into the spine, and begin to extend that left leg this time to the back of the room, right fingertips energetically reaching towards the front of the room, make that connection here. And again, try, try the option. You can have your toes pressed into the earth 
or you can curl through the right toes. As soon as I did it, I got a little shaky. So that's a good thing, right? I can stabilize my core a little bit more, draw it into the spine, and then whenever you're ready, begin to roll that right hand back this time, bending into that left knee, pulse if you need to, or reach for the foot. All right, if we're reaching for the foot, I want you to begin to press that left foot into the back of your right hand, gently creating this bow shape here. So opening up the chest, opening up the back body. Woo, one more breath, inhale. And then as you exhale, with control, nice and easy, come all the way back to Firebird. Leg extend it, extend it, right arms extended as well, and then bring everything back to center. Awesome work, take a deep breath here, we earned it. Exhale out the mouth, <sighs> let's try it one more time. Inhale, exhale, stick out your tongue, <sighs> lion's breath. Curl the toes under, and we're gonna hit our first downward dog. So hips are gonna go up and back here, pedaling through the feet, pedaling through the toes. And we just wanna pick up a little bit of heat to get the body nice and lubricated. So I want you to bring your two big toes to touch, draw the navel all the way into the spine, get those hips up nice and high, bend your knees, look between your two front hands, and you can either walk, step, jump, or hop. We'll all meet at the top of our mat though. Inhale, find a nice long spine here, crown of the head reaches forward, and then on that exhale, ha, fold forward. Bend the knees generously, make it feel good. Let the head hang heavy, find a little bit of rest here. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, let it go. And then nice and energetically, big, big energy here. Plant the feet nice and firm, rise, root to rise, all the way up, arms lift out and up, reaching to the sky here, interlace, Charlie's Angel's fingers. And then we're gonna take this over, so bump the hips to the left as your fingers reach over to the right. Inhale, come back to center. Bump the hips over to the right as we reach over to the left here. Keep that heart open, chest expanded, rib cage reaching up to the sky. And then come all the way back to center and let's take it all the way back. So arching back here, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the booty, open up the heart, open up the neck, open up the throat, leaning back here. And then come back to center, bring the hands to prayer as we hinge forward over the hips, folding forward, beautiful. Inhale, find some length here. Exhale, fold forward. One more time, inhale, find some length. And on that last folding forward, step the left leg back, step the right leg back, float through a vinyasa. So you can release the knees down for knees, chest, chin, or you can just come into your regular chaturanga or baby cobra, whatever feels good for you. All right, we're gonna flow through that two more times here. So bring the knees, knees, Knees come together, two big toes come together, high on the balls of our feet. Bend those knees, look between your two front hands, step, jump, or hop, top of the mat. Inhale, find some length here. So draw the navel into the spine, find a nice, nice energy, and then exhale, fold forward. Inhale, root to rise, all the way up to stand, big energy here. Look up to the sky, look up to your thumbs, beautiful. And then exhale as we swan dive all the way back down to the earth. Whew. Inhale, find a nice half lift. Exhale, fold forward, beautiful. Step into your plank, and then float through your vinyasa. So we're just picking up some heat for the body, getting it nice and lubricated. So when we work on our balance, our muscles are able to support us in a more nurturing way. Last round here, high on the balls of the feet. Let's just flow through this. Step, jump, hop, top of the mat. Boom, however you get there. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, root to rise. Nice and strong, nice and big. Arms and energy lift up to the sky. Exhale, take it all the way back down. Just swan dive it all the way back down. Inhale, halfway lift. And then we'll step back to our plank pose. Shift back into downward facing dog. Awesome, how do you feel in Paris? Is the heat going? Okay. <laughs> all right, inhale that right leg nice and long. Press towards the back of the room. Carry it all the way through to the top of your mat. And I want you to squeeze the inner thighs together as we lift up into our high lunge. Beautiful. Inner thighs squeeze together, arms are lifted. And so again, we're creating this, these two actions. So the hips are like weighted to the earth. So let gravity do the work here. But then energetically in the heart area, we always wanna be receiving, always ready for the gifts that are just abundantly awaiting for us. All right, inhale. 
And then on that exhale, I want you to open up a little wider. So almost like there's a huge beach ball. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Open it up, ready to receive. One more big breath here. Inhale, finding that balance. Navel's pulling into the spine. Inner thighs squeeze together. And then on this next one, this next inhale, straighten that front leg. Arms lift all the way up to the sky. Beautiful. And we're going to float through this two times. Make it dynamic. Make it fun. All right. So squeeze the shoulder blades together, bending into that front knee. Inhales, we lift and root to rise, straightening through that front leg. And so the weight is going to be into the ball of that foot when we straighten the leg. One more time. Squeezing the shoulder blades, opening up for some vitality here. Inhale, lifting up to the earth. Beautiful. And then from here, we're going to work on that balance, right? So energetically reach the fingertips all the way forward. Chest is parallel to the earth here. And then pop that back leg off, coming into our warrior three. Awesome. And so here, again, we said we're working on core stability. We're working on our balance. You can bring your hands to your hips if that's helpful here, just to find the balance. You can also bring your thumbs to your heart center, or you can bring your hands in front of you for a full warrior three. One more big breath. And again, root down, really root down and ground down through that right leg. Embrace the wobbles, embrace the shakes. And then release that right hand down to the earth. We're gonna to begin to stack our hips, stack our shoulders, coming into a half moon position. And so for half moon, again, shoulders are stacking on top, hips are stacking. And if you really want the challenge, <laughs> you can take your gaze up towards your thumb or you can keep your eyes looking down at a block or your fingertips in front of you. One more big breath, inhale. And as we exhale, plant the hands, bring that left foot down, step back, flow through your vinyasa, or just meet in downward facing dog, whatever feels good for you. All right, let's reset. Take a moment here, take a deep breath, inhale, and then exhale, let it go. And so our body feels a little bit more familiar with what's about to happen. So let's see if we can really tune in. So take a minute here to not tune out, but to tune into the body. Notice what it's saying as we flow through it on the second side. Inhale that left leg nice and long behind you, pressing towards the back of the room. And then bring that left foot all the way through to the top of your mat. And take a minute here if you need to just reset, maybe open up your legs a little wider, but really feel grounded. Feel stable here as we begin to lift all the way up to rise. Inner thighs squeeze together, navel pulls into the spine, nice and strong through the thighs, energetic through the legs, and we are smiling in the mouth, right? Deep breath, inhale. And then as you exhale, open up the arms here, squeeze the shoulder blades nice and big, ready to receive, and we're gonna make it dynamic now. So as we inhale the arms up, we straighten that front standing leg, Pull that left thigh back if you need to for more stability. And then bending into that left knee, open it up and lift to rise. One more time. Open everything up, gentle back bend, and then lift to rise. Beautiful. All right, we're working on that balance. You're still going? <laughs> we're working at our balance here. So I want you to begin to shift forward, parallel the chest with the mat. And then as you begin to pop that back leg off the earth, we are in our warrior three. So that right leg is floating long behind us, really extending and lengthening. Lengthening through the arms as well. Navel's engaged. Left thigh is nice and strong. Take a deep breath, inhale. And exhale, one more breath, inhale. And on that next exhale, release that left hand down to the earth or a block and begin to stack your hips. So go easy with this because we're changing our rotation in the hips. So we went from neutral rotation. And so the hips are stacking, shoulders are stacking on top of each other. And again, we're flexing through those right toes. Fingers are nice and lifted. And if you want the challenge, if you're looking for a little more, take your gaze up towards your thumb to really exercise that balance today. Last breath, inhale. And then as we exhale, float it all the way down. Plant the hands, frame that front foot, and step back, take your vinyasa. So lower down chaturanga or knees, chest, chin, whatever feels good. Listen to the body today. And we'll all meet in our downward facing dog. So let's find some relief in those hips right now. And we're gonna prepare for our pigeon pose. So extend that right leg nice and long one more time and then bend at the knee. So bending into the right knee, maybe you take a little circle here with the hips, 
reverse it in the opposite direction, flip, switch, reverse, and then extend the leg long, and then carry it through to the top of the mat. So you're gonna bring your knee down all the way through to your shin. And here's a little trick I like to use for my pigeon. I actually just learned it, so I'm sharing it with you. So place your left hand on the sole of your right foot and see if you can use this to kind of like help uh, level out that front shin. So a lot of times you kind of like tuck the heel in, which is cool, but it's, you know, you're not getting the, the maximum benefits of the stretch. So see if you can use your hand to like level out on the sole of the foot and then come to the tops of the fingertips, open up the heart first. So roll the shoulders back, lift up here, inhale. And then as you exhale, you can come down forever feels good. So you can stay lifted if this is like enough stretch for you. Trust me, I'm feeling it. Or you can come onto your shins. You can bring your forehead down. We'll just hang out here for three breaths. And if you need to, if you feel that hip creeping back, you can keep that hand on the sole of your foot and just apply a little bit of pressure just to help stabilize it. Inhale, and exhale, sending all the air, all the energy to that right hip crease, that right IT band, finding a nice deep stretch. And allow the body to soften into this as well. So if you feel like you're gripping and holding tension in the face and the jaw, even in your fingers, just see if you can really release and really relax it here. Last breath, inhale, and exhale as we release, allowing the hips to fall closer towards the earth. And then we'll find our way back up. So planting the palms down, coming back onto the fingertips if that feels good. Open the heart one more time, lift up, and then a fancy, very fancy yoga transition. I just want you to roll over onto that right. Yeah, roll over onto that right side, there we go. And so that right knee is still gonna be bent in, Lengthen through that left leg. <laughs> All right, and so from here, we're gonna take that right hand, swim it in back of you, coming into the tops of the fingertips. I want you to point through that left foot, lift up through that left hand, and we're gonna take the hips up to the sky with this. So use that right hand to help give us some leverage with our weight, point through the left toes, lift the hips, squeeze the booty, inhale, Arch back, make it feel good, let it feel yummy, stretch out the core. We've done a lot of activating of it today. And then sink the hips back to the earth. But we're gonna flow, almost make this dance-like. So then sweep the right arm all the way over to the left. <laughs> and then let's do it one more time. So we're rolling that right hand in the back of us, lifting the hips up, left arm reaches up to the sky. And then come all the way back down to the earth. Awesome, take both the hands, take it to the top of the mat. Come right back into almost like a pigeon, and then just step back into your downward facing dog. Pedal out the feet, pedal out the toes, and let's take a deep breath to reset, and let's try it one more time on the opposite side. All right, inhale that left leg nice and long behind you, bend into the knee, take a few circles, whatever direction feels good, Maybe you start clockwise, you go counterclockwise, make them big or small. Just think about what it needs, if it feels sticky and tight. And then we'll send that left leg along behind us and then bring it all the way through to the top of the mat. And so preparing the same way here. So if you tried that little measurement situation I gave you, on the other side, try it here, because naturally my leg wants to come in, but I want the shin to almost be parallel with the top short edge of the yoga mat. So I'm gonna take my right hand, Place it at the sole of that left foot. Find the, ooh, I really felt that, y'all. <laughs> so find what feels good here. Come into the tops of the fingertips. Roll the shoulders back. Open up the heart here. Let the hips get heavy. Deep breath. Inhale. And then on that exhale, let the hips sink a little lower. And find what feels good. So you could stay up just like this, or you can begin to come onto your elbow shins. Just really allow the body to soften into this posture, though. And so don't cling. Don't clench. Don't hold. So check in here, make sure the tongue isn't stuck to the roof of the mouth. Make sure you're not like holding up your head here. Really allow the body to soften and letting all the action really happen in that left hip over here. 
So on that next inhale, we're sending the breath, sending the energy to create more space in that left hip crease. On that exhale. Beautiful. Okay, and from here, I want you to plant your palms. Open up the heart one more time. So roll the shoulders back, lift up, sink the hips down. Beautiful. And then we're just gonna roll over onto that left side this time. Awesome. And so we're extending through that right leg. I'm gonna flip. Paris is gonna stay the actual way, but I'm gonna flip over so you can see me. All right. So swim that arm all the way up to the sky, point through the toes, and then as you prepare, begin to shift and lift the hips all the way up to the sky, arching back here. Mm -hmm. And then exhale as we bring the hips down and floating to the opposite side. So again, almost make it dance like. We'll go through this like two more times. Flow at your own pace, your own breath. Hold it as long as you need to. Work out any little kinks. Honestly, every time I'm lifting up, I find a little more stretch. Oof. And the more you point through the toes of that extended foot, trust me, the better it feels. <laughs> Last one. Hold. One, two, three. Bring the hips all the way down. And we will make our way back to the top of the mat. And we will just come into our downward facing dog. And from here, I want you to bring your two big toes together. Take the knees down, open them nice and wide, nice and big. And allow the head to hang heavy here, coming into our child's pose. And again, just stretching out the hips one last time, allowing the belly to rest. And then begin to walk the hands all the way back to the knees. Swim the feet nice and long in front of us. And the last bit of core work before we wind down our class for today. It's not really a class, but for our meeting today. So I want you to draw the right knee into the chest, flex through the left toes, and then take it all the way down, but go nice and easy, go nice and slow. So just make sure you have enough room in back of you. Awesome. All right. So we're gonna do a little bicycles here. So the right knee's into the chest, left leg is nice and long and flexed. Bring your forehead towards the right knee and then we're gonna switch. So coming to the left, beautiful. And just continue this, moving at your own breath, your own pace, really draw the navel into the spine. Keep that forehead nice and lifted. And we're gonna go for 10 more. I'll count, you don't worry about it. Stick to your breath, you can trust it. And again, inhale. And exhale, exhale on the switch. Inhale as we draw the knee in. We're coming down to the end for four, four, three. Really press that lower back into the earth. Two and one, beautiful. Draw the knees into the chest, give yourself a hug. Bring the forehead to the knees. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And then release the head down to the earth. I want you to send that left leg nice and long down and then send the right foot all the way up to the sky. Yeah, and then roll through the ankle here. And then if you can, you can bring your hand to the shin. You can bring it all the way up to the ankle, but lengthen through that right leg, find a nice stretch here, and begin to pull the leg in towards your chest and towards your belly button. Beautiful. And then again, if you can, take your peace fingers, wrap it around the big toe on that right side. Take your left hand to that left hip. Find a little bit of stability here and really point through the heels and go easy with this one. We've done a lot of stretching in the hips, but you still wanna be mindful. Begin to extend that right leg all the way over to the right side and pushing through the heel, pointing through the toes, seeing how that feels. I've been doing a lot of running lately, so it's like, hello. One more breath, inhale. And on the exhale, let it go. Bring the leg all the way up to the sky. And then we're gonna take a twist. So you can release the peace finger, grab around the big toe, take your left hand, drop it on that right knee, and take it all the way over to the left side. Take your gaze over to the right. And if you want a deeper stretch, you can just apply a little more pressure on top of that right knee. And again, allowing the body to rest into this, thanking our core for holding us up nice and strong today, thanking our legs for <laughs> really holding our balance together. And then bring that right leg back up to the sky, back to center, extend the leg all the way up to the sky, and then lower it down slowly with control, nice and easy. All right, 
Bring that left knee into the chest, wrap the fingertips around, squeeze it in, squeeze it in. And then as you begin to lengthen through that left leg, walk the fingertips up. So they might come in back of the knee if that's where your range of availability is. It can come to the shin, it can even come to the ankle. But straighten the leg as much as possible or what feels comfortable for you today. Roll out the ankle, have a little fun, notice any little kinks here. And then begin to pull that left leg into the chest. See if you can again keep pushing through the heel to straighten it, finding a nice deep hamstring stretch here. Inhale and exhale. You can stay here or you can take the peace fingers around the big toe. Take that right hand, bring the right hand to your right pelvis bone, just keeping it stable. And then begin to extend that left leg all the way out to the left side. And again, you want to keep pressing down in the hips here. You don't want to lift up, right? We want to keep protecting the lower back. Hold for another breath here. Press through the heel. Exhale. All right, bring it all the way back to center. And then take that right hand, take it over to the knee, and send that left knee over to the right side for a supine twist Allowing the spine to reset here. You can, no one can see this, but Paris is tickling my feet, y'all, it's so weird. Um, you, you can take your gaze to the left side. She keeps doing it. Hopefully you don't have anyone tickling your feet at home. Uh, allow the body to reset, allow the spine to reset. Awesome. And then bring that left leg all the way back up to the earth. And again, because we're doing our core work today, core stability, don't give up, right? It's the small things that matter. How we do anything is how we do everything. So slowly with control, flex through the toes, toes pointed to the chin, lower it down nice and easy, nice and slow, nice and controlled. Don't give up on me. It's still lowering down. Beautiful. All right, shake the thighs all the way to the sides. Shake the arms. Release any tension that we might still be holding in here. And as we wind down for our final resting pose, our Shavasana, let's just close out our breath practice. So let's take a big inhale together. Hold at the top for one, for two. And on that third breath, exhale everything out. Let the belly deflate here. And then pause at the bottom of the breath. Pause for one moment. And then begin to tap into the natural rhythm of your breath, so whatever that is for you. Allowing the thighs to feel relaxed. And I even invite you to rub your tummy, saying thank you, tummy. Thank you, core. Thank you, abs. Thank you, abdominals, for working for me today. Sending it love and sending it gratitude. And if you have the time, I just encourage you to stay here a little longer and just be in this moment. Allow your body to feel nourished. Allow your core to feel nourished. <laughs> but if you have to go, I will see you next time. Namaste. Thank you so much for flowing with us today. It was such an honor to be able to lead you today. And I hope you revisit this video anytime you're feeling off balance and need a little stability and alignment in your life. But until next time, my name is Alicia. And I'm Paris. And you can see more of us by subscribing to Well and Goods, Good Moves, or anywhere around here. And we will see you next time on the mat. Peace. <laughs>